Hello, I'm Bob Scammon and I'm going to do a mod review, this time of the Farka Ruler Designer mod that I've been using on and off for since the beginning of uh, Crusader Kings 3 when it was released earlier this month. Um, I've been really enjoying CK3 and uh, I've been looking forward to playing it for since early early 2020, especially with everything going on. Um, but one thing that wasn't there, which was in CK2, which uh, I missed, was being able to create my own ruler. Sometimes it's just fun to play as maybe someone you wanted to be, or yourself, or perhaps sometimes it's just fun to create someone overpowered. I enjoyed that. So we're gonna look. I'm gonna look um, at how you play it and uh, how it's gone. So this is actually the new um, update, um, so which makes everything look look a bit prettier actually so though I do kind of like um, the old, old version um, so I'm gonna go play as any ruler in 867 it's a cool little drone into that it's the first time I've seen this um, and we're gonna go through what you can do uh, in this mod so firstly um, we'll look at the game rules so most things um, obviously if you do even if you enable Iron Man you will not be able to unlock achievements if you have this uh, mod on you know it, it these it is it is a can be used to cheat but first of all I'm gonna put the uh, character nudity just in case um, you can have a points design system and I'm gonna turn it on but put it on a hundred which is the most amount um, and that allows you to restrict how um, how good your person is so you maybe you want to give yourself a challenge or you want to be somewhat average but create your own person you're able to do that you're able to enable this to disable after your first use of this uh, decision and I'll show you how that works and you can choose your starting initial skills to be 5 or 10 we're going to start at 10 and I'm going to put it on disable after use and actually we're going to put it on 50 and I'm going to just create a um, I'm going to start over in as a one count person in Ulster and going to create my own Irish uh, family actually let's not be Irish we're going to use this uh, trigger design event so you literally all you do you go to decisions and you trigger character design event chain click on it and obviously this um, this design is now uh, this event chain it will actually uh, stop being able to use after I've done it however you can turn it on so you can multiply uh, use it or you can have it on so you just do it right at the beginning and then you're done for the um, uh, done from the beginning so so uh, this tells me what my um, my rules were. I can start with the 50 design points or do do it with as many as I want. I'm going to do it with 50. Okay, you can kill off design, uh, and inherit other people's uh, titles. Um, do not inherit their titles and dis disinherit all of them. I'm going to do this one. It's always the best one to do, I think, if you really want a clean break and want to start as a new character with a new count, a uh, new earldom. So am I going to be male or female? I'm going to create myself, so I'm going to be male. And I'm going to be a disconnected dynasty member. You can be the child of the current ruler, but if you want to be someone completely different, you just do that. Now, I'm going to start at 16, but you can choose any age um, as long... Um, you can even be a child, but I, uh, I find that uh, when you do that, it's a bit awkward. So I would suggest starting over 16. And I'm going to be Bob. Cool. Continue to the next one. Okay, so I can start off by changing my, my skills. So I can add or remove skills. And again, these will give me points. So if I say I'm not very intrigue worthy, I'm going to remove that by 10. That gives me 10 more. But instead, actually, I think I'm quite good at diplomacy. And I'm going to add 5 to that. And I'm going to add 5 to my learning. So I'm still now back on the 50. Now... So I've got all these different things. I'll now go into traits, which is where you'll probably end up spending most of your time. I can do education traits. I can have more than one education. It no longer gives you the um, the prowess le uh, education trait, which didn't really make sense. Uh, I'm going to be a learning education, and I'm going to be a mastermind philosopher. I studied philosophy at uni. Makes sense. And I could choose um, another one to get both, but I'm not going to. Okay, now um, I can do my personality uh, traits. A, you can do as many as you want and if you double click on them so if I pick greedy and then actually I don't want to I'm gonna um, lose that trait but what I'm going to do is 
uh, just pick three, but I can pick as many or as little as I want. So you can have no personality, or you can have as many as you want. And I, uh, I'm gonna go for myself. I'm gonna be just. I'm gonna be gregarious, and I am gonna be uh, probably compassionate. Okay, because that's who I think I am. So, and then I got the. Uh, I can do some stress management ones. I'm not any of them, but you you can give yourself bad traits as well. Um, so you can make yourself an opium addict. You can do a lot of different stuff. You can become a drunk. Um, but th I'm not going to go for any of these. Instead, I'm just I'm not going to take any of them. Now, these are where the cheaty stuff comes in. You can take the beauty. Well, I am obviously beautiful. I'm going to take the intellect traits. I'm obviously a genius. And physique, well, I'm a, I'm pretty divine. So there we are. And, you know, while I'm at it, I'm also shrewd. <laughs> Why not? So I would suggest that you take the 25. If you want to play on kind of average uh, uh, kind of person, I would start with a 25-point system because it really makes you have to take some harder choices. I'm going to make a, give myself a the military engineer just because I hate sieges and that is going to be all the traits but I can do other traits and go through all these but all of the traits that are in the game are in there as I uh, I haven't seen anything that isn't in there yet uh, but you can also change your sexuality I'm, I'm gonna stay heterosexual I'm gonna change my culture oh all the cultures and um, both the ones that exist at the moment and don't exist are here so I'm gonna become oh I missed it I'm going to become good old English, which is in the West Germanic one. So English doesn't exist at the moment. It gives me this funky hat. There we are. Um, then also, uh, I can change my religion, but I'm going to keep it the same. But all the religions that are in there are fine. And you can make yourself taller or shorter. Probably, if I'm going to be honest, I'll be a bit chonky. Now, back to the main menu. There we are, finished the current uh, cu uh, customization. So my character dies, the current one, hit this fella here. He dies and I become this Bob Del Fiat. But, so I'm L Bob now, but if I wanna, so this is me now. And if I want, um, even in the base game, you can change your name. So if I change it to Gammon, that'll mean that my dynasty and my name will be um, same. It doesn't create a new dynasty. That is something that they don't do at the moment. But you will, you if you pick um, an unknown dynasty and you disinherit yourself or you make a new cadet branch and stuff, you can disinherit yourself and you can be all all from the, uh, you're not, you're going to start all from new. So this is me starting all from new. Um, I'm going to pick all my learning. I'm going to pick scholarship because I want to be a scholarly fellow. But one thing you might have noticed is actually, England doesn't actually exist on the map at the moment. So even because I've changed my culture to a culture that doesn't actually exist. Um, and also, by the way, if you do want to change the reason they don't let uh, don't they don't let you change your um, your look too much. Um, you can randomize the look within your thing, but you can just change your hairstyle and your clothes um, within this. So if I want to get that hat back and then be that slightly ginger man, I am. Uh, I can be. I can't get my beard that I have at the moment, but uh, here we are. So this is my character. He's a very, very powerful character, as you can see, though terrible at intrigue. Um, but yeah, as I say, in the cultures, uh, where's cultures? Oh, they've changed the picture of it to match up. So it ma now matches up because it had the old symbol there to begin with. English doesn't exist. So we get this kind of weird thing where no one is the head of English culture because it doesn't actually exist on the map. So actually you can um, research everything, but at, you just research everything without any fascinations. So everything will be slower and uh, harder. Um, so it, that is one, not a bug necessarily, but um, it would be nice that you could change your um, base culture to um, the culture uh, you're sorry, the county that you are in could change to the culture that you are. That would be a nice add. But you can still, um, what's it called? You can still do everything you want to do and you can just change the culture right at the beginning to something of your own. But now, as I say, I'm uh, insular English 
and I'm, you know, everything else is fine, and I can, I've got my own place. So I can now make the decision to strengthen my bloodline because I che kind of cheated and got like, all these different traits. So that gives me a good start, and I can do uh, convert to the local culture if I wanted to become Irish. I don't. No offense to the Irish, they're all cool, but I'm not Irish. Overall, this mod is just so easy to use. That's its biggest claim to fame. It's so simple and it makes sense. Um, it, there are a few uh, little things I'd improve, like changing your culture when you, um, your, the culture of the province you hold to the culture that you've changed to as an option. That would be great. However, as it is, this is very simple. So you kill off your dynasty, inherit their titles. Do that. It can be whatever you want it to be. Be um, anything you want to be. So I could be uh, Freddy. There we are. And I can change whatever I want. I can, can make my guy super, super powerful in certain things. Oh, and terrible in others. So he's going to be terrible at martial, but absolute god when it comes to diplomacy. And that's without um, doing anything else. You know, I can choose whatever I would like to make and really customize my character to make them something that I would like to role play, which is very important within Crusader Kings 3. Um, as I say, it's simple to use. It does take a bit of time. That's the, another little criticism in terms of you have to constantly go through menus, but without creating their own U, uh, UI and interface, I don't think this could be done any easier and any simpler. So I would suggest getting this mod. Um, and I hope you enjoy this little mod showcase and I will hopefully be back with uh, some more mods in the future. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. I've got my website and my Twitch channel linked below as well as um, this YouTube channel. Put in the comments any uh, mods that you recommend me looking at or any mods uh, or if there's anything that you would like to um, to see in Crusader Kings 3 that we can look at together. Uh, thank you, I've been Bob Scammon, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.